But what is it particularly about the Western that you love? Well, I love horses to start with. I love animals. I raise dogs. Uh, I've got a little book out called Trigger Remembered that'll make you cry. It's all true. I love that old horse just more probably than Roy said once on an audience. He said, well, there's only one person that loved Trigger as much as I loved him, and that's Billy. Uh, Dale and I in the morning used to watch him when they, Glenn Randall took him out of the trainer, took him out of the dock, and they put a, put a set of uh, hobbles around him. And he was a stallion, but very quiet. And uh, he'd watch Glenn walk away, and then he'd test to see whether he just laid the laid them around or actually buckled them. And if they weren't, if they weren't tied on, he would inch his way to the other horses. Never make a sound, a whinny, nothing. And I always used Dale and I of having a cup of coffee, Dale Evans, we'd watch him and laugh. He, uh, uh, he, he, he made our day, literally. He had a personality and I, and I remember once, I wanted Joe to come out run over the backs of about eight horses and jump to Trigger. And old Trigger, when things got quiet, he'd start to look around. You know, he'd say, now what are these guys dreaming up? So <laughs> we, I said, everybody keep talking and keep doing, and we were banging on the tin and pounding on a brass, and he was sound asleep, and I rolled the camera, and we put a big Barney so because he could hear the camera run. You can't, but he could put a big Barney over the camera and I go like this to Joe. Joe comes out, runs over these eight horses, leaps to Trigger. It'll never be another mount like that. And Trigger woke up like this and Joe took off with him and the old horse came back and we put him in the same thing and he sulked. Put his head down on the ground and sulked. He'd been tricked. <laughs> he said, but he was something else. I, I still think about him.